Hey guys, today I want to uh, try to solve the read n characters given read 4 to code multiple times. Actually, I have explained this problem and uh, the related problem uh, with the whiteboard, but I think maybe I should uh, uh, code the life. Uh, uh, maybe that will help you uh, understand this problem well. Oh, okay, let's see the problem. Given a file and assume that you can only read the file using a given method read for implement a method read to read n characters. Your method read may be called multiple times. Method read for uh, <clears throat> okay. The difference between this problem and uh, the previous problem is that this time when you read uh, when we read uh, call this read for. Uh, we only use one character, but next time we do not have to call this read for again because we still have three characters unused, so we can just use them. So as I explained, uh, uh, it is obvious that we need uh, to make this temporary uh, array and the temporary pointer and the temporary count global because in this case we can use them next time when we call this read function. So, sorry, as I said, we need a three, uh, we need a three global function. First is the temporary character, which will be for as in the private int temporary pointer. This means, uh, which, which position are we now in this temporary array? And uh, a temporary count which means uh, how many char characters we read uh, in this uh, temporary array. Okay, and we also need a total uh, index, which means how many characters uh, are we read. While the turtle less than, which means we have to read. And if the temporary pointer equal to zero, which means we have uh, one case is that we have used up all the characters we read, or we are we haven't read any characters, so we should read. Uh, call this read for function, and uh, copy this character into the temporary uh, array. Okay. So now, if the temporary count equal to zero, which means we haven't read and we we cannot read any characters anymore, so we just break. And uh, while the turtle, uh, turtle less than n and uh, the temporary pointer less than temporary count, we just uh, copy the character into the buffer. Which will mean temporary, temporary pointer plus plus. Okay. And uh, if uh, if the temporary pointer equal to the temporary uh, count, which means we should uh, reset this temporary point equal to zero because we have used up all the characters. And uh, we also have to check if we can read uh, we, we can uh, read the characters anymore because if we have used up all the characters in the file, we can uh, even if we call this read for again, we cannot read anymore. So if the temporary count less than four, which means we cannot uh, uh, read any characters anymore. And finally, return turtle. So basically, I think it's right. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching.